no gas Nico here. 2017 battery failure. Done with the series. I'm all done with battery failures. They bought the car back. Everything's good, right? I'm back. Starting to have issues with the 2020 62 kilowatt hour battery. This is the car I bought brand new. Had four miles on the odometer when I bought it. Uh, there's been nothing been majorly done to this car. We just drive it. We drive the heck out of it. It's got 78,000 miles. But my wife told me she took the car the other day and she drove it. She started out about 75% from home. She left to go to work. It's a 40 mile drive. She said halfway there, she, she got the low battery warning. So in 20 miles, she lost 69% of her battery capacity. She'll get 180 miles per charge. So 180 miles for 100%. That's roughly about two miles per percent. Let's just say a mile and a half. Should be able to go a mile and a half. So 20 miles should have knocked it down maybe, what, 7, 8%, 10% at the most. Uh, that's Something's not right. So I decided to take it for a test drive. And one major thing I noticed, it wasn't really acting up on me. Um, but when she explained the issue, it was cold. Cold in the morning. Uh, does that sound familiar? Battery dropping really drastically in cold weather. If it doesn't sound familiar to me, go back and look at my battery seri battery failure series. That's exactly what the 2017 was doing. The 2020 is now starting to do the same thing. So everybody's thinking that the Gen 2 batteries are so great that they don't have any problems. They're just now starting to get age underneath them. So is there still the same problem as they had in 2016, 2017? Are we going to start seeing a bunch of these battery failures coming down the pipes? I don't know. Who else has this problem? So let me show you this video. This is what I noticed. Um, I took the car out, and the battery was dropping faster than normal. Like I was losing maybe 1% per mile, which I should be a mile and a half to two miles before I dropped the percent. So it was faster, but it wasn't drastic. Not Nothing like what my wife experienced. Um, I went 40 miles and I went on a return trip coming back and it started dropping even faster on a return trip. And one thing I noticed when I hit the exit ramp, the battery state of charge went up like five, six, seven percent. Here's a video of it right here. So you can see exact. I can't remember the numbers, but watch the percentage on there in the bottom. It's going to start ticking up and up and up and up and up. I have never seen it tick up more than 1%, no matter how long I've decelerated and did a, did a regen. Now, I did have the e-brake on, so it was the most aggressive regen. But even still, I've done a lot of testing with this car. Never have I seen it go more than 1% gain when I came to a stop. Even when I decelerated all the way to a complete stop from 80 miles an hour, I've never gained more than 1% battery in this car. So why am I gaining 5, 6, 7%? And my wife says she gained even more, like 30, 40, 50%. Again, sound familiar? Go back, look at my series. Watch what happened in 2017. Exact same scenario. So this battery is starting to act just like the 30 kilowatt hour pack did for our 2017. Not happy about that. What have I done? Okay, I've contacted Nissan. Uh, that car needs to go in for a recall anyway. So I'm going to have them take care of the recall. And I'm going to tell them the concerns of the battery. And I'm going to want them to evaluate the battery. Hopefully they find an issue. My prediction, they're going to say they didn't find anything wrong. Everything's good. And they're going to send me on my way. But I do want it documented that it was tested, checked, because I'm still in the warranty period. We're at 78,000 miles. If I go over 100,000 miles and then all of a sudden it starts failing, I want this documented that this problem started prior to the warranty expiring. Um, so that's where we're at. Uh, it's this is a this is very it's, it's disappointing for me because I really like the Nissan Leaf. We still have the 2013 and obviously the 2020. But, you know, here we are now going to be fighting with Nissan again with a battery issue that I don't know if they're going to go ahead and take care of it like they should. Um, are they going to actually tell me that they found something wrong and fix it? I don't know what's going on. I will keep you guys updated. So 
part one of my new battery failure series. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I didn't want to have to do this, but I think everybody needs to know. And if you have one of these Nissan Leafs that has the 62 kilowatt hour or even the 40 kilowatt hour and you're having problems, pay attention to your percentage of state of charge. And if you're seeing this, drop a comment. Let us know. Let us know. Is, am I alone here? Do I have a one off or is this a common theme with these Nissans? Did they not fix the problem in 2016 and 2017, and we still have the same issue moving forward in all the Leafs that have been built since? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Drop them in the comments. Um, I'll be doing part two, three, four, or however many parts until this gets resolved, um, or until we decide that we're done with Nissan and we sell the car and buy something else. That's what my wife wants to do about her, the 2017 she couldn't really drive it because it was faulting out. I gave her the 2020 to drive Why I drove the 2017 dealing with Nissan. Now she's getting the same problems with the 2020. So am I going to have to give her this car that I'm driving while I deal with the 2020? She's done with Nissan. She's absolutely done with Nissan. She still wants another EV, but absolutely she said if she if she's going to pick out her own car next, I'm not allowed to make the decision for her. And to be honest with you guys, based on what we went through, the troubles with the 2017, and now we're starting to see troubles with the 2020, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. I'm not going to try to influence her. I know for a fact she's going to want a Tesla. And uh, we'll go from there. But we need to get this problem resolved first and then possibly sell the car. Who knows? Uh, stay tuned. Again, will be more to come uh, probably next week. Uh, again, I said uh, I got an appointment tomorrow, but it's actually Friday. I misspoke. I thought today's Thursday. Today's Wednesday. So uh, Friday, I do have an appointment with Nissan and see what happens. I'll let you know. Stay tuned. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can stay updated. All right. Thanks for watching. God bless and Merry Christmas.